welcome to Pom Closer, guys. Today tutorials is gonna be something with the granny squares once again. Very plain top. It's an easy pattern which I have used for the crochet sweater. So basically you will need the granny squares pieces for the body part, shoulder part, as well as the sleeves. The measurement of each granny squares here is four by four inches. So you have four inches here, four inches here, and this tutorial I'm making is size small. The tools you will need are crochet hook number 4mm, pair of cutter, some stitch markers, and the tape measure. How you connect the pieces together very simple using exactly the same techniques. The yarn colors I have chosen are varieties from the Mayflower. It's a hobby one. They are all in like a baby pastel color, but this is entirely up to you which colors you want to use. I've used like four ply cotton from Hobbies, 50 grams for 170 meters in different colors. But as I said, this is uh, optional. This is depends on which colors you want to use. First step, if you're making the same size as mine, like size more, so you will need one, two, three, four front piece, two for the back side of the top. And how to connect, I have used like the same Joining the yarn, chain three slip stitch, chain three slip stitch, the same as the sweater one. On the side here, I have done five rows of the granny squares. I have connect only the corner one and one of the three double crochets here. So I have left two of the three double crochets and the corner here. This will be the armhole part because I want to use three pieces for the armhole. So I will connect the armholes on this part here. Basically, we will need four pieces for the front, like this. And then you will need to connect the three granny squares pieces to make the shoulder part or to make the armhole part. I have left like three of these, one, two, three other corners. So how to connect, just do it exactly the same as the sweater or the crochet skirt one. Reconnecting the yarn. And then change three. Slip stitch, change three. Go to the next gap here, slip stitch. Change three, slip stitch, change three, and then slip stitch on this corner. I will chain one to close and then cut off the yarn for weave in. And now we need to also connect to the, the, the back piece because I need only the four pieces for the front and then we need to connect. So I need to turn the right side to the right side, like this. And then use the same techniques. So now you will have one arm hose like this. And then you will turn because we need to do the crisscross back and then I will do the other piece so for the body part here I have like one two three six pieces each row so that would be around 18 pieces for body part and then for the shoulder part you will need three on each size so that would be six so the total now is 24 pieces for other sizes you can add more rows for the length or for the width, as I have mentioned, four inches on each of these granny squares. So you have to work it out. It depends on the size. And then I will continue with the other part. Now for the body part, it's done. 
So you have the armhole here, both sides. This is the front piece and now let's check the back. The back side should be something like this because I want to do the crisscross on this part here. So let's move on to the sleeves. The sleeves one I have used like three, four, five pieces on each row and I have done two rows so it's ten pieces on the sleeves part and first of all I need to join the pieces together after you connecting like each piece on each row and then you connect each row together and then I will connect the side using the same method for all the connecting but if you want to do like slip stitch or the single crochet you can also do it so I have connected the side so you can see the shape of the sleeves for all these ends you can weave in later and now I will turn the right side back to see how it looks like. So you will have here, it's like five pieces on each row. The measurement here is, when it's four by five, it's 20 inches round, this part here. But on this part here, you have only like one, two, three, and this part you cover as the four. So four by four is 16 inches, and here will be 20. So what I do, I'm just gonna try to adjust the length as as I go along. I will turn the right side to the right side. So I need to turn this back. And then you need to work out on this part here. The body part and the sleeve here is on the right side. So you need to put this on top. And now use the stitch markers to place the pieces. You need to balance the pieces here because it's four pieces and five pieces. Five pieces on the sleeves, four pieces on the armholes part. So you need to like balance this. Now you need to reconnecting the yarn. Now we use these techniques. I've done the video of how to connect the yarn before so you can choose any of the techniques or your own techniques by using like three chain and then slip stitch. So this time we're just going to work along with the length. There is no specific stitches because one is bigger and one is smaller. At the end, you just chain one, cut off the yarn. So let's check on one of the sleeves. side so you will have something like this on one sleeve so I will first um, work on these sleeves before I complete the other one on this end of the sleeves here I will first reconnecting the yarn and on the end of these sleeves I was just gonna go for like single crochet in every stitches Here is the last stitch, so I will do the slip stitch on the first change. After that, you need to chain four. Skip one, go to the next one and do the double crochet. On this row, I will do the mesh row. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Repeat these until you get to the last stitch. Last double crochet, chain one, and then do the slip stitch on the third chain. 
from the beginning of the the row and then chain one as you can see you have completed the mesh rows i will make the string to insert around this part so you can make the sleeves kind of smaller after that i will do chain three and then i will do double crochet in the same stitch and then the next stitch do the double crochet the next one two double crochet in the same stitch i want to do the ruffle on this part here next stitch double crochet next stitch two double crochet in the same stitch one double crochet two double crochet in the same stitch one double crochet two double crochet in the same stitch so repeat this until you get to the last stitch so here's my last stitch and then you need to slip stitch on the third chain chain one cut off the yarn to complete this part here so you have the ruffles edging it will look something like this on one side of the top with the sleeve now i want to do the strings for this sleeve part here so you can adjust the the width or the size of this armhole because it's quite big and i will use the 4mm crochet hook slightly bigger than the one i use for one strand of yarn and then i will leave it for like one inch on this end here and then change I would do it like 70 centimeters. Cut off the yarn. Pull the yarn through and make a little knot. So I would trim it. So I leave one inch. Now we need to insert these onto the sleeves part. So you have the shape of the top. So you can decide if you want to have the end hanging on this part or you want this end to be on on top but I will I will have my on this end here so I will go like to the mesh rows and then I will skip like two mesh skip two mesh go up and down like this all the way around For this end, you can just weave it in. And on this part here, I have only one mesh left. So you can see now, I actually, I need to weave this in. You will have the sleeves like this. You can adjust this part here and tie it. You will have one sleeve like this. So I will repeat the other side of the top, doing exactly the same. Before I do the other sleeves, I need to complete this part. And then you can do the other sleeve yourself. On this back side here, I'm just going to go for like three change, do the double crochet in the same stitch and then you skip two, two stitch, do a slip stitch. I will go in between the three double crochets here. So make sure you work on the right side of the work. Three chain, double crochet in the same stitch. And then you move on into the gap in between the three double crochets. I want to have this edging like this. Three chains, double crochet in the same space and then move to the next gap. Three chains, double crochet in the same space. 
move to the next gap you, you can see the aging here so keep doing this all the way around do you get to the front piece and back to to this piece as we're at the bottom part of the top so basically all the way around and then cut off the yarn with all the ends in in the other side of the sleeve so i have done the sleeves as well as the strings on this part here the last things we need to do is only the strings for the back so i want to do the crisscross back grab the two ends of yarn with the crochet hook here and then i will change to the slip and chain up to 120 centimeters it is 120 centimeters tie the knot here and then you will need to insert these strings on the back part of the top so i will start from the bottom right here basically just do the crisscross if you think this is too short you can add more length and then i will go like one here one on this corner i will then Tie it on the back here. It might look too short because it's not tightening enough. Now the back side of the top is finished. So you can see it's very easy, very simple top. So I have here six pieces on each row for three rows. So that would be 18 plus six on the shoulder part and plus 10 on each of these sleeves. The total is 34 pieces of the granny squares if you want to add more length on the body part or on the sleeves part feel free to do so but this is the design i want to achieve so um here's the back side and the front side looks like a plain top very easy to make you can adjust the top to fit the size because it's open back with the crisscross so easy to wear and the colors of the tops it depends on your choice so if you have any questions if you don't understand in any part of the video feel free to write down in the comment section don't forget to like share subscribe share the photos after you've done any of the items by following my videos thanks for watching i will see you in the next video